So after three holes, we're four over. That is why we play golf for them one. Triple at the first. Hello and welcome back to Josh Oddy YouTube. If you know this setting, you know we're about to go out and play nine holes here at Shanklin Sandown. Beautiful course, lovely layout. Pretty short at the moment because we're off the winter tees, but it's super windy today. Probably going to talk through a little bit about the shot selection I'm going to play. Um, hopefully give you guys a little insight to my thought process behind the shots that I hit. And it might give you a few shots off your score when you go out and next play. Sit back, relax and enjoy this one. Also as well, I've taken out the swing weight on the back of this driver. I did have a 22 gram weight, um, but my wrist has been like really, really hurting. And I think it might be to do with driver because it's only when I hit the big stick. So I know that this swing weight is massively out as well. It's super heavy. It's got that 22 gram weight in the back of the head normally. Um, so I need to do a bit of trial and error with this. Definitely can't continue using that swing weight. It's just, you know, although the driver was straight, it's, it's good, but you know, long term, I just can't have my wrist in a bad place. So a little bit of trial and error with this today, see how this performs. Um, probably try and get a super lightweight in the back to replace it. Um, and yeah, as long as she's in the fairway, I don't care. Let's go get them, baby. Right, hole one, this is playing brutal today, straight into the puff. Hopefully I don't leave myself a free wood in here. Down the left. Right, so got 176 yards left in. Now, I could chip out sideways, but percentage-wise, I fancy myself through this gap here. Um, kind of a risky shot, but I fancy it. With the wind out the left, it should just drift back. So as long as I thread it through this gap at the top here, we're actually A-OK. -okay. So main goal is just to get it through that gap and we should be absolutely sound. Just on the left edge of the green would be fantastic here. And perfect layup. Just out to the right, 150 left in. <laughs> right, take two after absolutely nailing that tree. 160 yards, blowing into me like 25, 30 mile an hour. Um, I'm gonna try and knock down I'm actually going to go six and go super, super low, super chippy. Um, yeah, this ain't easy out here today, so you do not want these compound mistakes. If we can just knock this on the green, make our bogey and run would be fantastic. Right, little six iron. And that is pretty good. Go, go a touch. Oh my God. It's come up 25 yards short. It's blowing. Well, if you wanted to see me have a chop, you've come to the right place, because uh, we're looking like bogey's a fantastic scorer now. About 30 yards, shouldn't really go that far once it lands, so let's try and land this one 10 foot short. Not bad. Okay, right around 15 foot. I've got this one at about a two and a half percent slope right to left. Um, this would be <laughs> some bogey if we can roll this in. I need all of you to pray right now. Come on. Oh, wow. And sometimes it happens on the first hole, the last hole, in the middle of the round. You get these holes where nothing really goes right, but two feet for a double bogey. Wow. Triple at the first. Great golf hole, that one. On, moving on. Okay, after a triple bogey at one, we are now three over par. Um, sometimes it happens like that, you know? You hit a bad shot, compound mistake, free part from absolute nowhere. Um, 
we're three over par. But that's why you've got to love this game. You never know what is coming. But moving on, hole two, par three, up the hill, pins at the front. So I've got a chippy eight iron. It's only like 120, but we're literally just going to chip this one in there. Keep it under that wind. Come on, let's bounce back. It's a Flagosaurus Rex, sit down. Bit deep, I think, but we're good. Okay, a little bit deep there, like I say, 30 feet away for our birdie. Now this is extremely downhill. Greens have actually sped up a touch since I last played here, so hence why that first putt was a little steamy, but this one is all about speed. If we can just bounce back, get a par, move on to the third hole, get a few pars on the scorecard and keep it rolling. Come on, just dead weight. Brilliant speed, sit, sit. I would say no dramas, but like I said um, in my previous video, these are the ones where you just don't want to keep leaving yourself this distance just because this time of year, you know, it can catch a bobble or whatever. And these become quite tricky, but come on. Yes, we make a par after that triple. I cannot tell you how relieved I am to make a par after that start, but moving on to hole number three. So hole number three, like I say, there was that little hazard that they've added in on the left-hand side. Now that does come into play, but being downwind today, I'm likely to fly it with driver. So we can just really give this a rip. Now I'm actually gonna aim in the right trees and if I pull it or push it, it should be absolutely fine. So there is a touch of wind out the left and um, I know that being on the first fairway is actually not bad at all. So yeah, um, bit not really negative, just I would say smart. So aiming in them right trees and hopefully we don't hit a dead straight one. And I've actually pulled the nuts off that, but it's faded back and it might be just through them trees should be a-ok -okay, that one so we have got 90 yards now just a bit of local course knowledge i know there is a gap there um, and the trees kind of start breaking away as you go further so if we're another 10 yards up we've literally got a perfect shot in but um we get a little bit unlucky we've got to kind of punch one out under these trees can either go through this left gap or the right um and i kind of fancy just squirting a little six iron up this left or right gap, sorry. Um, try and get it moving a hair right to left, but you know, it's super hard to move it when you're only hitting it like 60 yards carry. So anywhere on the green is a um, fantastic shot here, really. Just try and skirt this one up there. Go, go, go. Done pretty well, just on that front edge. Two putt, make the par and run. So this little bit of fringe here, just a bit hairy for me to um, putt it through. If it was a cut a, a lot shorter as, as they normally would in the summer, I'd probably putt this. But um, this time of year, you know, I think your best bet, if, you, if you're solid with chipping, chip it. Um, I know that 56 is going to release out kind of 10 yards. So just looking at my 30 foot point, which is probably in between me and the flag, actually, which is quite a nice point. Um, yeah, let's try and land it in between me and the flag. Just releasing up. Oh, nice bounce. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, we've got about nine, ten feet for our par here. Pretty straight, but I think any time the wind is like 25, 30, it might nudge it a bit if there's a bit of a gust. So. I'm actually going to go like left half on this one um, and just hope that wind just knocks it a hair. I think it will. So come on then, good stroke. And leave it straight in the jaws. So after three holes, we're four over. 
this is not an ideal start, but just try and stay positive. You know, sometimes it happens and conditions are tough today. You can see that short games just got away from me the first few holes, free part on the first, missed that one there, you know, just compound mistake after mistake. So let's try and keep the head up, stay positive, and um, hopefully a birdie down here. Short hole, the fourth, down the hill, par four. I've got a little two iron and just try and keep this under the wind and hopefully find ourselves with a nice little wedge in. Let's try and make a birdie and get this round underway, shall we? Okay, hit a golf shot, finally, come on. A fairway, what the bloody hell is one of these? First fairway we found and in a pretty good spot to give this one a go at the flag. We've got 66 yards. Um, within the sim, I mean, you know, you're just chucking a 60 degree in there, but with this wind, I'm going 56. I'm gonna try and chuck the flight down a window, keep it under control. Take a little bit of spin off of it. Um, God, talk a good game. Just do what you're saying. Come on. Spin, baby. Okay, good chance at a birdie. Lovely shot there. Flight the ball down, down a window, control the spin. Um, and a good chance for birdie, come on. Okay, a beautiful shot in there, right around eight feet. Kind of pitched it, maybe a hair too long, but um, you know, we won't, be, we won't be fussy. This is a birdie chance. I'm actually gonna go 2%, but I've brought that finger a little bit closer to me as this one's a touch downhill. So just try and stroke it down there. Good stroke, that's all you can do this time of year. Pulled it. <sighs> it's a par. Right, now onto the fifth hole. We are still four over par through four. Let's just try and steady the boat. Um, and not really an ideal flag on this hole. The pin is actually middle and it's on the left hand side. So this is tough. Um, Par here is a great score. And um, you know, that part on the last, I'm not really annoyed. As long as I'm putting good strokes on it, I pulled that one a hair, but this time of year, you just can't get annoyed with the putting. The greens aren't perfect. Um, so you're not gonna hold the world yet. So um, yeah, let's just try and steady the ship. Knock this one in there tight. Come on. Got a little soft nine iron here, playing 137. Let's just try and dial it in. Aggressive as you like, be a number. Ooh, okay, that looked very good. Bit aggressive, but okay, really good shot in there. Pretty aggressive. I mean, this pin is probably one, two, three paces on the top level. So a super, super tough pin um, and pretty close to this left-hand side. You miss it left there, it's dead. Um, so a pretty aggressive shot. A little bit stupid actually, but now I've got about seven feet for our birdie. Breaking left to right. And let's just put a good stroke on it. Oh. One of them days, we keep rolling. Oh. Right, hole number six. We are still four over par, unfortunately. A couple of good birdie chances there, but just got away from us. Um, this one, sixth hole, is kind of gettable today. Wind is down out the left, so if we strike this free wood good, we can get pretty close. Let's just try and make a good swing. Somewhere down the middle would be fantastic. Come on then. Absolutely perfect, sir. That is why we play golf for them ones. Just absolutely perfect. I think that might be two fairways in the last three holes. I mean, admittedly, you can't hit a fairway on a par three, so two out of two. Let's forget about the first three holes. 60 yards now. Um, I've got a lob wedge and realistically, this one should just stick to the number if we strike it well. So 
Let's literally try and land this on the flag stick. Should just stop dead. Okay, lovely yardage. Touch to the left, but birdie chance, come on. Okay, this is getting a uh, bit familiar now, isn't it? 10 foot for birdie. Giving ourselves some chances now. And uh, when you keep knocking on the door, the door should open at some point. So let's see if we can roll this in from 10 feet for our birdie. Come on, baby, roll it in. Wow. Just jump like right in the middle, but it's a par. Come on, chin up, keep going. Okay, so hole seven. Normally this one's like a two iron to the end of the fairway, um, but we're actually hitting freeward today just as that wind's into. If we can get it to the end of the fairway, it should leave us no more than like a pitching wedge or nine iron in. Um, still four over, by the way. Come on, we need a birdie. Gonna go stay left on this one. Nice little punchy. Okay, absolute money tee shot. Um, we've got about 130 left in here. I have got an eight iron. Um, this one literally stalls so hard as soon as it gets above these trees, so. Just trying to chuck this in super low. Super low we did, be a good number. The old man said, looks good, Josh. Well, it looked good. That's all I can really say about that one, but can we grind this out? Just making up and down before the short par five. Lovely touch, go, 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 go. <sighs> There's the part. Right, short par five coming up the eighth. Green is on a temporary here um, and it's straight downwind. So this one can be hit in full flight. Let's try and give this an absolute rip. Oh my God, that is sent. Right, 143 playing 137, so down a couple of yards, downwind. I mean, this is literally probably a 130 shot. Um, just try and hit like a controlled pitching wedge in here. As I say, it's been that story all day. Keep it that window lower, control the flight. And I've just pulled the life out of it. Sit down. Oh my God. Okay, it's been one of them days. Back into the breeze chip here. Um, this green's ropey as hell, so literally try and knock this as close as we possibly can. Oh my God, horrific. Literally got nothing to bring praise on today. It's been an absolute dog show so far. Um, in fact, the dog's probably been more of a uh, better watch than I have today. <laughs> Let's see if we can make one birdie at least. Come on. No. One of them days. Okay, we have made it to the ninth hole. We are four over par. Just not a great sentence to uh, start the hole off with that one, but Let's try and end with something positive. We've got 100 yards on the button here. Let's try and dial one in. Come on, baby. 99 yards on the buzzer. One arm, go, go! Well, a day that hasn't gone my way. Landed middle level, spins all the way back down the bottom. Standard procedure. Now we're left with an absolute beast of a putt. 30 feet up the hill. Pray to God we two putt this and just run. Get me back home. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Ah. 
that sentence might just about have to be the video. Still, four over par. And that is the nine holes complete, thank Lord above. So, four over par. Horrific day, a day we just want to forget about, but you know, it's good to show the bad and the good. Um, just a lot of compound mistakes in there and sometimes it, it just happens like that, you know. Um, it's just not your day, tough conditions out here and just, you know, a lot of compound mistakes, a few silly putts, a few silly golf shots and that's what can happen, but that is golf for you, that's why we all play it. So if you did enjoy that, please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you all for the next one.